This is a HeadGum Podcast. Welcome to Girls on Porn. I'm Laura. I'm Rachel. And we love porn. This is our porn review podcast. We talk about what we love and we roast what we hate. Helping you find hot, ethical, just plain better porn for your spank bank. And we're looking at everything. Before we introduce the topic, we have an erotic little segment for you today. 69 Seconds of Sex News. We've pulled headlines from the news to keep you informed and horny. Here we go. A Florida resident is calling for a sugar daddy and mommy appreciation day. The woman named Ashley Cream went to a Boca Raton planning and zone board meeting and advocated for the sugar parents who are, quote, responsible for college educations, cars, homes, rents, jets, and the occasional body enhancement. Ashley Cream was accompanied to the meeting by her geriatric sugar daddy. The board did not rule on the request because they said it was a city council issue. Consider us tuned in. Tinder has launched a dating dictionary to help older singles decode the language of Gen Z. Some of the words in the dictionary are cushioning, which refers to keeping several backup relationships to soften the blow if your main one doesn't last, or date view, which describes when a date feels more like an interview. Definitely been on one of those. Or kitten fishing which refers to tweaking or embellishing certain aspects of your life or appearance to make yourself more appealing. I mean, don't, don't we all do that? Also, am I old? <laughs> a woman in Germany is in a sexual relationship with airplanes. After an experience with turbulence, she discovered her true love and considers all airplanes to be one collective being named Dickie. <laughs> She has over 60 model airplanes at home and five tattoos of aircrafts on her body. Last year, she took 30 trips to spend more time with her lover. Her only regret is that she can't currently be alone on an airplane. What's she going to do when she gets more alone? (laughs) And is said aircraft consenting? Male giraffes taste test female giraffe pee to see if they're ready to mate. The tongues on giraffes are apparently excellent at detecting pheromones, so they'll stick their tongues into the female's urine stream to see if it's a good time to get busy. Or so we're told. (laughs) Today's topic is uncut. Uncut. Justice for uncut cocks. Am I right? (laughs) Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a bad rap. Or like, circumcision is the presumed majority sure yes but Which i feel is, like i see a lot more uncut cocks than like well it's because then society would have me blame right you know what I in mean? america it is it's very it's but like very you go on one great european vacation <laughs> and you find out that's not the case <laughs> you know that the rest of the world has the something else world figured is out living their life intact i you know? always i have to say found the terms circumcision or like circumcised and uncircumcised very confusing. A thousand percent agree. Because why would we name the thing that is like how the dick is born? Like the un. Yeah. Like, like uncircumcised. Yeah. Even the name is like insinuating that like what you're like the unnatural thing to do is what you're supposed to be doing. Exactly. It like know? implies the majority. Yes. That it's like it, sh- it should be like a natural dick. Yes. A, a surgicalized yes. dick. Yes. <laughs> you know. A modified. A modified you know? dick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's really, it may, yeah, I also, I, that's why I prefer like cut, uncut, you know? Yeah, cut, uncut somehow is just easier for my brain right. to process, even right. though it has the same un thing I going know, on. I know. But it's, it should just be it's like just normal cut, because cut you know? is an action. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's anyway, for years I would like panic and feel stupid when I'd yeah. be like, which one is when? Yeah. Which one's when? I remember like finding out that like, <laughs> like penises, like, like there is such a thing as like circumcision. Like, what was that? When was that? I don't remember it was learning like about it. If late I'm in life, like I think I was like maybe like a freshman in college, and like someone was like explaining like, oh yeah, like so and so's uncircumcised, and I was like, was that you know? Oh wow! And they're like, yeah. Come to think of like, it, I when feel like it was late is, game information. Like it yeah. was not being discussed at like the sixth grade sleepovers. And then I remember like we someone like had to show me a picture, and I was like, what? what? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Can I make a embarrassing <laughs> admission? Yeah. Like, I've definitely fucked some people and been like, was that? I'm not sure. 
Well, it's hard to tell when someone's hard. Because circ- well, circumcision is hard to tell when exactly, and I yeah. mostly see hard dicks because yeah. <laughs> because you're hot. Because I'm hot. <laughs> um, but like, also just fun to talk about is that like circumcision is kind of a spectrum. Do you know mm. what I mean? Where like some uncut dicks have more extra skin. Yeah, well, than just others. foreskin in general. Exactly. You know, like there are some people when they get hard, it's like, I don't even know that it's there. There's just like a little bit of extra uh, movement. <laughs> Wait, what? What's you know there? what I mean? Like, I can't even tell that like the foreskin is there, is there. When, it's, when it's hard. Yes, a There's lot just of like rest. a little bit more of like, Just a little know. more give. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit more of like, yeah. There's some more fabric. <laughs> <laughs> there's some more fabric to work with. There's more material yeah. to spare. For the, there's some people when they're hard, you're like it's still wearing the turtleneck. You yes. know? Yeah, it's the turtleneck is yeah, still, kind still of, on, still kind of there. Right. Whereas like right. some people, you never knew they had a turtleneck on in the in first the first, place. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I looked up what a circumcision surgery entails. Oh god, I'm so sorry, yeah. but I didn't know. Okay. And I was yeah. like, oh, this is something I'm curious about. Right. And, like how they do it. Right. I'm gonna describe it. Oh, God. Okay. I see people like just like flying off, <laughs> like the viewership just like dipped. No, nope. significantly. <laughs> yeah. But basically, like you pull, you pull the foreskin over the penis, mm. and then like sort of make incisions, and like it, it is as if oh, I'm wearing a turtleneck. What Perfect. good planning? Yeah. But it's as if like you pull it forward, like above <laughs> it, the floor, you're pulling it up like this. And then, you know, snip, snip, and then, like, pe- like almost, like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> see, like, yeah. along the seam, like, here. Yeah. And then using sort of the frenulum, which is, like, the yeah, base the, of the cock, it's where, like, the head meets the, like, the, lining yeah. of, like, our the, seam. The inside of our it. Our seam yeah. down the yes. under, undercarriage of the dick. Uh-huh. Um, that's sort of our, like, anchor point that, like, yes. you pull it all around to come back around in the frenulum. Yeah. I would have been but okay when, but, like, not knowing real, that. like, <laughs> describing that. How fucking insane is it? Yeah, that most parents in America are doing that. Choose to, their to do that. I mean, I think baby. it's a greatly declining trend. Yes, but for a time, it was like let's to remove this piece of the stick for right. hygiene uh, because religion. of mis- ed- miseducation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, various reasons. Well, yes. To be uh, fair, there okay, are like fine. a lot of religious traditions which, like, we don't want to step on. And that was actually like the that was kind of. The origin. Yes. Shall know? we shall we talk history a little bit? Sure. Briefly? Yeah. The origin of circumcision yeah. is like is has like religious roots. Yeah. You know? Under several ethnic groups. Right. I was Not I was presuming Jews. Judaism first. Yeah. But um in sub equatorial Africa, Egypt yeah. and Arabia, mm-hmm. um various forms and extents of circumcision there. Ritual male circumcision is known to have been practiced by South Sea Islanders, Aboriginal peoples of Australia, Sumatrans, Incans, um, Aztecs, Mayans, and ancient Egyptians. Mm. Today is still practiced by Jews, Muslims, Coptic Christians, Ethiopian Orthodox, Eritrean Orthodox, Druze, and some tribes in East and Southern Africa, as well as the United States and Philippines. Wow. Yes. It's actually the oldest known surgical procedure. Ding, ding. Yeah. That fascinated me. That is a fascinating. That was the first thing we did. Isn't it wild that like before we figured out how to like dig an arrowhead out of someone surgically, we were like, let's cut the. John got shot. You know, like. Let's let's chop the top of the dick off. He got bit by a bear. We're just going (laughs) to. Best of luck. We're over here doing this though. This is very important. Yeah. Get it's that, wild. Get that guy's <laughs> turtleneck off. Yeah. His I have tiny a dick. Exhaustive list of reasons for circumcision. Do you want me to just like rattle this off? Okay, sure. As a religious, Aside, yeah, religion. Okay, as a religious sure. sacrifice, as a rite of passage, marking mm-hmm. a boy's entrance into adulthood. Right. Um, as a means of reducing sexual pleasure. Fascinating. Torture. As an aid to hygiene where regular bathing was impractical. As a means of marking those of higher social status, as a means of humiliating enemies. Yeah. Um, as a means of differentiating a circumcising group from their non-circumcising neighbors, like we're into this and yeah. you're not. Um, as a means of just <laughs> like that's there's there's a Dr. Seuss book about that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the star belly snoots. <laughs> the star belly snoots make a point to circumcise. Yeah. yeah. The sm- the snar belly snips. <laughs> um, as a means of discouraging masturbation or other socially prescribed sexual behaviors, Again, as a torture. means of increasing a man's attractiveness to women, 
as a demonstration of one's ability to endure pain. Dear God. There are other things we could be doing. You as know? a male counterpart to menstruation or the breaking of the hymen. Oh. Fascinating. To, okay. uh, to copy the rare natural occurrence of a missing foreskin of an important leader. So like, cool guy over there did it. Let's all do yeah, it. Yeah, let's all do it. As a way to <sighs> repel demonesses. Oh. And or as a display as a display of disgust of the smegma produced uh, by the first yes. I have to say that I didn't know that smegma was the technical term. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought, I it was thought someone just like came up with that term, like because it's like, yeah. of course it's called that. It like just the way it looks like, yeah, you know, smegma. Like it you know? sounds like someone. It sounds like splooge. Yeah. Like it's in the same family, right? But no, slang. like looking at like the Healthline article, I'm like, oh no, like that's smegma the technical is the term. technical term. Yeah, smegma. Smegma. Um, Do we need to find smegma? Dick cheese. Yeah, we did it. that's it. That's really <laughs> it. Um, yeah, really fascinating to me. Uh, I also didn't know that for the bris or like in the Jewish religion, it's yeah. like on the eighth day. Yeah, on the eighth day. I was I like, learned that too. But I, I would like rang a bell. Like I yeah. knew that and then was like, oh, right, right. And I was like, that seems really young. And then I was also like, but like, when is a good time to do it? You know what <laughs> yes, I mean? It's never like, a good time. It's like all like, it's never good seems time like a good any, time. I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Give um, them a few days to warm up and then. Yeah. I've never been turned off by an uncut penis. No, you I've know? never had an issue with it. Quite the opposite. I if like I'm honest. them. Yeah. I mean, I I mean, I, I like all dicks. I like all dicks. I like a I dick if it's attached all. to a person I like, you right, know? Right, right. Yeah. Um, but I've never been like, oh, he's, you know, like, girl, something crazy happened. You know, yeah. like, I've never been that person. Yeah, that part of culture is yeah. just confusing to me. I did have one partner be kind of self-conscious about it or sure. kind of check, like, have you ever seen one before, <laughs> you know? And I was like, yeah, I've been out here. <laughs> yeah, like, I've been she's to Europe. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I've studied abroad, yeah. you know? She doesn't have an exclusionary <sighs> dick policy. Yeah. Um, I've been abroad. But I will say also, like, I re- thought about this and I was like, most of my recent male partners mm. have been uncut. Yeah. And just like in the last few years. I think it's great. Yeah. If I had a baby, I'm not circum- cir- circumcising. I just had a stroke. I'm not circumcising <laughs> his... Sweet baby penis. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And also because the majority of men that I do know, like I have a friend who actually like grew his foreskin back. Whoa. Yeah. Which is like, there Whoa. are some crazy torture devices out there on the internet that you can buy that can help like grow the Wait, skin. He stretch. deliberately grew it back? Yes. He wanted to grow it back. He grew it back. He grew it back. And it, and was successful. I to a degree that you can be. Was it you know? excruciating? Like was this? Yeah, like, like there was like a device that he had to like wear around his dick. Yeah, it's yeah. really fascinating. I mean, but I get it because there is this idea. I mean, there and also there is some research to support it that uncut dicks are more sensi- sensitive. You know, uh-huh. and you can feel more pleasure. Yeah. if you still have your foreskin. Yeah, so. I mean, there's this Healthline article where they say, like, the pros and cons to uncut and cut. Um, I guess about, like, appearance, hygiene. Yeah. Yeah. Lube, you know. I also didn't realize that, like, having uh, an uncut penis, it provides, like, natural lubrication. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? That's what the article said. (laughs) <laughs> you're like I'm just you know I'm just quoting Healthline right the foreskin provides natural lubrication to the penis I mean the foreskin itself is the lubrication is kind of what I we're guess, getting at yeah. yeah 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 I mean that kind of tracks that it'd yeah. be less like prone to chafing or like right. that there's like you said there's more material there's, there's more give more, there's more to work with more to work know? with yeah um uh, there was a 2016 study that said that for uncut penises the foreskin was the part of the penis that was the most sensitive um to touch Mm. So people, I think that's also why people want it because they're like, I'm missing out on something. I also yeah. have a friend who's like, <laughs> who is like fascinating friends. Like, yeah, I, I have, a, yeah, I have another friend that was like, as soon as like our friends start having babies, like I'm campaigning to like keep the dicks intact. You know, I think a like, lot of people are already leaning that way. Uh, yeah, for sure. There are. I mean, a lot I'm of, obviously have a lot of very progressive. Yeah, friends, and I think, but like his whole platform, the thought is, is like, yeah, why would I cut my child's dick off? No or, more numb socks. Is <laughs> that's good. No more numb socks. No more numb socks. Yeah. No more numb socks. Um, um he should get in touch with the Canadian Foreskin Awareness <laughs> Project. <laughs> this was wild. Um, that's obviously advocating for keeping foreskin, keeping them and intact. against circumcision. Uh, right. who want Harry Styles to become the new face of foreskins? Right. 
they're just convinced that Harry Styles has an uncut dick, which is likely because yeah. the stats in the UK in the uh, UK yes. surprised me, which we'll get to in a second. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, they're like Harry Styles would be great. I'm like, yeah, I guess anybody would want Harry Styles to be the face of anything they're R- doing. Of course, but he was like, I the guy the, the, the guy who's like the head of this awareness project was like, everyone needs to know that like. I'm really, I feel very confident that everyone in One Direction has foreskin. All those you sweet know? boys. There like, was like a weird right. like, part of the quote about like. And the- like the only basis that he has for that is like, well, they're British. But also there was, <laughs> there was a story, I guess, in the National Enquirer that um, Taylor Swift supposedly dumped Harry Styles because. Because of the foreskin. He wasn't circumcised. Yeah. I can't imagine that's true. I can't imagine that's true. But at the same time. I don't know. Like, how long ago did they? I don't follow I don't know. the gossip. It was like ten years ago or something. But I mean, I'm trying to be like, is she a teen and yeah. she doesn't know what she's doing? Right. She probably has only seen American dicks for her. Like, whole is life. she playing out that scene? She didn't of, go. On, like, she didn't study abroad. <gasps> what? <laughs> she didn't study abroad. She's been on tour. You What's know, she doing? I guess staying in. Um, there's also the a sexual arousal by a circumcised penis, which is a cuculophilia. We did our best. Aku ku aku culophilia. Yeah, I didn't look it up. Sometimes Acu- I just Acu- like to roll the dice philia. on pronunciation. That's a hard one. Aku lo philia. Too many C's and U's. There's, in that there's word. a cuckoo amount of cuckoo in yeah. there. Um, uh, we did our best. <laughs> um, okay, so some fun stats yes. for the prevalence of circumcision. Give me the stats. Um, around fifty percent of all circumcisions worldwide are performed for reasons of prophylactic health care. Mm. And then the other 50% are predominantly performed for religious or cultural reasons. Even split there. Yeah, which I was like, prophylactic. Like, is everyone that scared of schmegma? Yeah. You know? I guess so. But like... Oh, relax. I mean... Wash your dick! Like, there were, like, briefly mentioned studies of, like, places where hygiene isn't as accessible. Oh, sure, I sort I of like, okay, I guess it's, like, sort of a blanket solution. I guess. I don't know. I didn't that go that deep on bit, it. Yeah, that seems a little bit um, yeah. much. Um, but it's obviously like a very culturally loaded thing mm-hmm. in almost any circumstance, even when it is hygiene related. Do you know what right. I mean? Right. Also. Yeah. It's declining. Uh, it's declining. Mm-hmm. And I have some stats on different countries where it's where prevalent. It's okay, cool. Or, no, where it's prevalent. Oh. Like where it, like the stats on circumcision rates. Oh, okay. So 90% in Israel. For obvious reasons, because it's <laughs> religiously associated, and that is a sure <laughs> religious mm-hmm. national um, country. Many Muslim majority countries. Eighty six point three percent in South Korea. Oh wow! Eighty percent in the United States. Yeah. Fifty eight percent in Australia. Forty five percent in South Africa. Twenty point seven percent in the United Kingdom. Oh. To under one percent in Japan and Honduras. Mm. Fascinating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm curious. I was like, when this popped up, I was like, why is it so, like, why is there such a significant difference in the UK? Oh. I have a theory. Okay, give it to me. Uh, decline in circumcision. This is wiki history. Okay. Decline in circumcision in the English speaking world began in the post war post war period. Uh. The British pediatrician Douglas Gardner published a famous study in 1949, mm-hmm. The Fate of the Foreskin, described as a a model of perceptive and pungent writing. It revealed that for the years 1942 to 1947, about 16 children per year in England and Wales had died because of circumcision. Ah! A rate of about one per 6,000. So okay. like not a high rate, but had an inf- the article had an influential impact on medical practice and public opinion. So my theory is that that was like that article permeated the British public zeitgeist. Mm, maybe. And people stop, were like, oh, I don't want my kid to die. Okay. So we're going to stop the circumcisions. Yeah. And that's why today it's just like not a the people don't do big it. thing. Okay. You wow. know? That's part of it. It a also could culturally be like, I genuinely don't know the stats kids. of like religious demographics sure. in Britain versus yeah. the US. But yeah. I was fascinated that like it's so popular here mm-hmm. or common. Um, but declining. Uh-huh. I, I have... Oh, go. Go ahead. What? What? Gonna I was going to add, <laughs> I was going to add that although it's difficult to determine historical circumcision rates, one estimate of infant circumcision rates in the United States holds that 30% of newborn American boys were being circumcised in 1900, 
55 percent in 1925, 72 percent in 1950, 85 percent in 1975, and then 60 percent in 2000. Mm. So we kind of saw it like climb and then start to decline. Mm. I don't have like a 2023 stat, but I would wager that it's significantly lower. Yeah. That people have just Stop it. That. stopped it. Stop it. Yeah. Firm stance here. Yes. I'm, I'm on board with you, though. Like, I don't think you need to. And like this, the way that we have hygiene, like, what's right. it, you know? Like, how did that become the norm? Yeah. You know, to the point that Taylor Swift is breaking up with Harry Styles over it. Yeah. You know? It's bonkers. It's crazy. Unnecessary. Um, I have some fun other terms for foreskin. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, penis beanie. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yep. You know, Love which it. I would argue, well, it doesn't cover the glands. It doesn't cover the head. So, <laughs> um, five skin. See what they did there? Five skin. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. A hooded soldier. Okay. You know? Love it. Love it. Which is funny because I, yeah, I think of like a wounded soldier, which is a type of egg. That's like how you order your eggs in the morning. Oh, um, I didn't know that. Learning things about food and yes, dicks. You know, that's Why not? my two specialties. Wait, what is a wounded soldier egg? <laughs> my two Food and eggs. Food, no, food and dicks. Oh, food and dicks. I said eggs. <laughs> but yeah, sure. I'm, She's I'm hungry. pretty good about eggs. I skipped lunch. Um, um, wait, oh, what is a wounded soldier <laughs> wounded egg, soldier. though, before we move on? It's like a soft boiled egg in the shell. Oh. And then you like take clack, and you clack, clack. yeah, yeah and then you have you, your doubt and you breakfast. Yes. <laughs> and you do your toast points and you dip it. Okay. Yes. Anyways. Order it. It's good. Um, devil's umbrella. Okay. You know. Okay. Here Dick for it. jacket. Dick jacket. Yeah. That one feels the most accurate. Yeah. Because foreskin doesn't feel like a hat because it's coming from below, you see. Right, right. Like, if anything, it's You're a dick pulling sock. Up your, like, yeah. it feels like a dick sock. Yeah, a dick sweater. <laughs> no more numbers. There was dick also socks. another one called Organzola. <laughs> I was like, how is that? <laughs> Organzola. <laughs> It's just delightful to say. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. I was like, okay, I guess dick the cheese, cheese. Dick cheese. Is dick it cheese and like a sexual organ? Like yeah. organzola. I dig. Um, but that just seems like a different term for spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> organzola. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, made me giggle. Yeah. Uh, Great we, list. Thanks. Should we do the showdown? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Three way action teen and uncut cocks. Nice tits on chick. <laughs> You have to yell it. You have to yell it when it's when it's all caps. Yeah, you know. For reference, that's always what we're doing. On check. Yeah. Okay. Just to stay on the the yelling theme. Perfect. Uncut in her guts, part two. (laughs) In her guts. (laughs) The rhyming. You got to respect the rhyming. I mean, uncut in her guts. Yeah, that's a someone's. It's a chant. Yeah, that. (laughs) It's a call to action. Yeah. (laughs) That's for like the justice for uncut dicks, yes. you know. No more numb socks. Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> the circumcision decision. Nurse Button <laughs> loves a patient's stretchy foreskin. <laughs> the circumcision decision. Yeah, I mean that's delightful. I like the idea that it's like the nurse's decision. Like she's like not. And that she's the like I shall be cutting this stick and right. I shall be sparing this one. Right. And she's like, you know what? I really like it. I like Just the foreskin. aesthetic choice. This mm-hmm. one, like, the foreskin's really working for it. This one, I yeah. think we can cut it back. Cut that one. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Close up soft cock and balls chill time. Jerking off. Quick uncut cock got horny too fast. Ooh. Lots of things happening there. A lot of story. Mm-hmm. Really mm-hmm. a lot of exposition loaded into the title there. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. My young stepmother deserves my respect. <laughs> not for not what you think. She loves the foreskin. <laughs> she deserves my respect. She deserves my respect. <laughs> because she loves my foreskin. Because she loves my foreskin. It's, it's like an uh, emotional affair, yes, that one. Yes. Uh, I respect her. <laughs> I don't just want to fuck her. I respect, respect her. her. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't get it. You don't understand. Um, brunette sucks an uncircumcised penis for the first time and is therefore pleasantly surprised. A. Oh. <laughs> Just a. the letter A. Just letter A. Clicked on it. Made sure it wasn't cut off. Just right. the letter A. Just letter A. Well, what's bid- video B, you know? Yeah. Brunette sucks an uncircumcised penis for the first time and is therefore pleasantly surprised. And therefore. B. I love when people just <laughs> add that word. And, and therefore. therefore. Pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Um, okay, last one. Yeah, for the me. word "therefore" in any porn title is is, is gets my right. respect. Right, because they're, they're it's like they're like 
And therefore. Therefore. And therefore. Pleasantly surprised. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what do you got? Um, after I slide my finger in your foreskin, I put them in your pretty ass. <laughs> <laughs> I put that in your pretty ass. In your pretty ass. Kind. What are you going to do about that? Yeah, I'm <laughs> going to you know? try that one. We're going to see know? how that goes. <sighs> Uncut muscular foreigner tries his first American white girl. Oh. <laughs> well, here Didn't we go. See it coming. Study abroad. <laughs> yeah. Like, there what are go. we saying? Yeah. Uh. Sample the <laughs> international delicacies available. Right. I also like that it's on the perspective of the person with the uncut penis. It's yeah. not like. It's he's like, like I'm he's, trying her, he's a white like girl. Trying yeah. out a white girl, yeah. you know? Why not? Yeah. The, the the object, you know, yeah, isn't the foreskin. Yeah. You know, the direct object. It's the in that's the indirect this object. This is a hero's journey this yes. time, as opposed to yes. uh, a story about an inanimate object. Yeah. Uh, should we take a break? Oh, I have one more. Oh god. I, I'm what a lucky girl. <laughs> yes. I'm so excited. The gifts keep on giving. Okay, yes. here we go. Sensitive foreskin looking that you have so far been looking for. Oh, <laughs> again, putting so far that you have so far. Yes. Been yes. looking for. Yeah. You know. Just takes a little meandering journey right, there. Right. <laughs> Before we... you're, you're looking through the words to try to get to the point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, now we can take a break. Okay, fine. Caetano uh, is in the name of a man and is also the name <laughs> of the first video we're going to talk about. Um, it's from Heavenly Spire. We found it on pinklabel.com, directed by Shine Louise Houston. This is basically a solo male vid. You know, we've yeah. talked about Heavenly Spire before. Yeah. Because it's a lot of like solo male, like mm-hmm. jerk off vids. Yeah. Um, kind of and, a dick worship vibe. Yeah. I was like, it's uh, there's like a little interview in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really loved it. This Kaitana was like, yeah, I want to like enjoy my penis. He's like, I like to like, you know, look in the mirror and like get horny. And I was like, I love okay, that for go you. Go off, kid. Yeah. yeah, you know, like yeah. respect yourself. Yeah, I love that self confidence. Yeah. Um, and then he's also like, I love to watch porn. Yeah. Um, so he watches porn in the porn. Yeah. Which meta. You know, I know. We don't he's see that holding very often. his camera. Or, he's he's holding got his, his little camera. phone. He's holding his phone. And he's like going over. I said over the panties, but he's not wearing <laughs> panties. He's just wearing underwear. <laughs> He's wearing undies. Over the panties. <laughs> yeah, and he's but touching he's himself. Panties. Normalize calling men's undergarments panties. <sighs> Why not? Great point. Why not? Um, so he's getting hard. He's like getting his balls involved. And I was like, okay, like <laughs> that's a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first reaction. And then. My God. It grew. It grows. It really grew in it a way. It does grow. That I was like, wow, I guess it's been a while since I've seen something you know, like, you know, baking bread from scratch, you know, like yeah. seeing it rise. <laughs> bread from scratch. Um, you know, like you're like, oh, wow, I'd spend, I, I just haven't had that experience in a while, like seeing yeah. it soft, like then seeing it like fully erect. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, penises can really, you don't Bro. know what you're working with until you see it fully erect. You I, don't. I meant to say earlier. Yeah. When you were talking about that Healthline article with like the pros and cons, I think it was in there that there was a line about like, the penis with the foreskin intact could oh. appear larger when soft, flaccid. soft. Yeah, I'm pooling very little data here because uh-huh. I'm just speaking to penises I know. Yeah, personal experience. I know a lot of uncut dicks that don't look particularly large when flaccid, and then mm. like really grow. A lot of the growers, not showers, that I that come to mind for me are all uncut. Are uncut. <gasps> Is there something here? Is there something oh. here? Is wow. there? Is this my campaign? Wow. I mean, I don't know. I think you got to do more research. Yeah, I got to. <laughs> you got to find some I more gotta start out more on yeah, yeah. And I got to make sure they're not oh, hard. Darn. They can't get turned on just at the sight of me. Right. Yeah. We need to make sure they are. I need to see the full. Which implies that I need to sneak attack. You know, I need to surprise them with the I sex. need a full time lapse. They need to think soft... it isn't happening. And then, ha mm-hmm. she starts jerking you off. <laughs> yeah. But the, at the point that it gets where he's like fully erect, you don't even see. This is one of those instances where you don't even see the foreskin. Yeah, you know. erect, it could be any kind of But you do see dick. the extra material we're working with. You do. You see you the know, gift. There's some gifts. You see, yeah. yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Which is nice because like in that moment I was like, oh yeah, of course you don't need lube because you're like jerking the skin. You can actually just move the skin up yeah, and down. Yeah, you're just like moving the skin up and down. Whereas opposed yeah. to when there's less skin, you need something. It almost begs for a different jerk off technique mm. depending on the dick. Yes. Interesting. Mm. Curated. Yeah. Bespoke hand job, you yes. see. Yes. Yes. That's what we're doing here at Girls on Board. You learn a lot by watching other people. Fuck jerk Laura off. and Rachel. We're um, great at it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he's, and then he starts to like really get into it. You yeah. Know, I love to hear someone when they're masturbating, like their way that their breathing changes. So mm. I was like, okay, this is exciting. Great breathing from Keitano. And then I was like, okay, it's been like six <laughs> minutes. While. We're doing this in real time. We're really doing this in real time. And Continuous shot. Maybe this is just me being dumb, but like I just assume that like when. Like, I'm like, how? And then I started thinking about it. I was like, but actually, like, how long does it take for, like, a guy to jerk off? Because in my head, I'm like, they're probably like, what, two minutes? You know? They can do it fast. Yeah. Like, they and can, I think some can. Yeah. I mean, I think what happens here, because he says at the end. Right. This is wild. We don't get a cum shot no, in this video. No, never come. Kind of unheard of. But right. this is a tour. This is yeah. independent porn. Yeah. It's like 11 minutes. So, yeah. it's like, we just watch him jerk out. And then he's like, I think I'm, like, kind of nervous. Yeah. Which I... Love, right? Like it basically like got like to the point human. of like being sweaty and like a little flaccid, and he yeah. was like, "Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen." Yeah, and she was like, "That's okay." I loved um, it. I love <laughs> that we like still feature the film and that we don't need the cum shot. We don't right. need to like objectify this guy's orgasm. That like right. the video can just be this stand on its own. And I was. I, I like wrote down like I was like, oh, we're really not cutting anything. And I was like, well, of <laughs> course we're not because it's on cut. Ah! <laughs> How dare she? How dare she? <laughs> this is a good one. I gotta give it to you. I, I gotta to. give it to you. I had to. Um, um, but yeah, it was like at a, towards the end, I was like, "Oh, he's pulling on taffy." You know what I mean? Like, it's just it not wasn't gonna that happen. bad. It wasn't that bad, but I was definitely like, "Oh, he's definitely like he's out, losing he's his boner a little." Yeah. You know, We're he's kind of getting it. You could feel him sort of getting in his head and being like, "Well, right. I'm kind of doing this for a while now." Yeah. Listen, um, but it was still hot. I mean, I like to watch anyone jerk off. You know? Yeah. And like get sweavy and like. Breathe a little. We heavy. got yeah, I've yeah. got very sweaty and like glistened a little, which is kind of yeah. I liked. I'm into that. Yeah, I like. Should we talk about the other bed? Let's do it. Okay. Sensitive foreskin play, romantic big cock blowjob, and tongue teasing. Uh, this is from Kayla White, and I just wrote romantic. LOL? Question mark. Like, <laughs> how, what about this is romantic? You know, it's just like soft lighting. Yeah, yeah. I think the idea, if I could advocate for the porn with no idea, yeah. really, is like. Only would one give such a like gentle meandering blowjob sure. to someone they have romantic feelings for. Okay, sure. Do you know what I mean? Or like like if partner. you're hooking up and you're just like right. yes. fucking somebody, you're not going to take as much time. Well, you're certainly not going to do what she does in this video. <laughs> <laughs> no. You need permission Sorry, for this. spoiler. You need to have a consent conversation about yeah. like I mean, she's stick like this. In my opinion, I mean, I don't know. I don't have a penis, but I'm like, this is a bad blowjob. <laughs> like, she's what she's doing is she's like pulling the foreskin and like, like bite like, with her teeth. Like she's yeah. like biting it, yeah, and like pulling it like over the head of his dick. And I was like, Oof. it's it's all very like teasing. Yes, it's the equivalent to like if someone went down on you, yeah, and was like nibbling on your clit, right, or like tugging on your labia, right. I get with their teeth. <sighs> Sorry, but which, like, like tugging on my labia with their I would teeth. be fine with, but only as like a playful event, right? Sure, Do you know what I mean, like yeah. Only with certain partners can I you guess. be like, I made a sailboat, you yeah, know, and like right. play yes. with their like, I made a snail and yeah, like play with yes. it, which I love to do. And like some people are like, don't know, my dick is serious. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I feel like don't with make the a right joke of my dick. playful yeah. partnership, like, sure. sure, like that kind of thing can be mm -hmm. totally fair game. And I think this is in that world. And yeah. she does have like a lot of other videos that are like foreskin oriented. Yes. Also, we're saying a lot of foreskin on this dick. Yeah. This is an erect dick. Yeah. Well, and it's there's extra. Sort of mid and then like gets harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like all like over the head of the the glands of this the cock is like, enough yes. that she is like rimming her tongue Th in between thoroughly inside it. In like, betwixt, which, betwixt the head and the foreskin. Yes, exactly. She's basically like you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I don't have I'm trying around. to compare it to something I know. else. I'm like, what do you do that to? There's nothing. She's like licking out the contents of the yogurt yes, container. Yes, exactly. But if the yogurt container had a ball inside, inside it. of it, exactly. <laughs> She's like putting it through. And this is like, this is one of those dicks that like when it's soft, 
it's full full hood. You know yeah. what I mean? You're not seeing the head. You yes. Know? Yes. There's even this some extra dangling. This disappears inside itself. Yeah, there's for yes, sure. For sure. That's the turtle shell. Yeah. Um, Listen, she's beautiful. Right. Beautiful cock, beautiful mouth. Right, but I'm like— It's very aesthetically pleasing. Yes. But it's it's niche. Well, because we're point, not, I'm like, suck the damn dick, bitch. Like, yeah. what are we doing here? <laughs> yeah. He's not going to come from this. Yeah. And, like, how many more times can I watch you swirl your tongue in between the, the turtleneck and the yeah. head, you know? Yeah. And it's also like—and then I was like, does he even like it? <laughs> you know? Like, does he even like this? Well, she's paying their rent. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so point. he's fine with it. But it was like almost like watching someone like struggling to tie like a cherry stem with <laughs> that their is tongue. What it looked you like. know what I it's mean? It's like she's doing a tongue trick. Right. Like I was for like, a long time. For a real life, I was like eight minutes. Yeah. Like at a certain point, I'm like, okay, just like, let's just go to town. Like, let's see the Slurpee Derpy. Like, yeah. You know? Yeah. I felt like this was for a specific audience. Yeah. That like I mean, somebody wants to see the foreskin played with this yeah. way specifically. Right. And probably, I don't know if that person's even, if that person's even like coming to this. Right, right. Or if they just like to watch that, you Well, know? I will say it was really um, encouraging and nice to see all the comments on the video where it was, everyone was like, wow, it's so nice to see like a penis that looks like mine. Like, yeah. this is so nice. Like, thank you for doing this. Like, thank you for your work. You know, yeah. like, really appreciate it. So I was like, okay, all right. Okay, I was like, okay, fine. Yeah. You know, she's doing something good. Yeah. Um, And also just, that's also a great point that like, look at like the good that this porn can do to the, like porn in general. Look at like, the good it can do in the world. You yeah. Know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Wow, I was not expecting to go there with this Yeah, video. you really had a str- um, strong feelings know, and, then, and then pivoted. You yeah. talked yourself into a corner and then you yeah. talked yourself out of it. I did. And I think that's what we're here to do. Fascinating. I we're that. here to like, uh-huh. Play with our own opinions, yeah, and sometimes our pussies, but right. not on air. No, no, but we talk about, you know, it's yeah, part of it. Sure, um, <laughs> we go off of these videos sometimes. Is what I'm getting at. I'm not to either of these. Yeah, the Kaitano video, like, definitely, like, there was a temperature change in my crotch, but like, it didn't get me there. Like, I wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna jerk off to this. You yeah, know? yeah, um, I wasn't particularly like attracted to Kaitano. Yeah, sucks to say, but yeah. that's almost like why I like the video is that I was like, this is just like a. A sweet guy. Right. It's who's also jerking off right. from like isn't conventionally like yeah. hot in some kind of way. Right. That because sometimes my you just think about wants. only hot people jerking off and you're like, but everyone jerks off. Yeah, but you everyone know? masturbates. And it can be arousing to watch someone that you right. would necessarily go for yeah. first. Um I mean I thought it was a beautiful little vid, mm-hmm. but it was almost like a little art piece yes. on its own. And weirdly yes. I kind of felt the same about the other one where I was like, this yes. is a little work of art. But isn't... Yeah, that could have been in, like, you know, some museum. weird, like, museum piece. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That could have been in the at MoMA yeah, or something. Yeah, like a bunch of, like, The like new TV museum? Screens. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Just exactly. put enough screens up and then it's, like, it's edgy and right. people lose their minds. Right. Um, yeah, so I won't be masturbating to either. Mm. But I do... Love an uncut love cock. Love an uncut cock. You know? She's, and you should, She too. loves an uncut cock. And we invite you to join us. Yes. <laughs> in our love for the uncut <laughs> cock. Well, thank you so much for listening to Girls on Porn. Uh, you can find us on Instagram and TikTok at Girls on Porn. That's porn without the O. On our Twitter at GOP the podcast. On our website at girlsonporn.com. And also on our Patreon, patreon.com slash girls on porn. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already. And if you want to leave us a five-star review, first of all, you're awesome. We love you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Also, feel free to drop your Instagram handle so we can tag it and thank you that way yes. as well. Endless thanks. Uh, This has been Girls on Porn, the only GOP that's actually any good. That was a HeadGum Podcast.